Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27783. And in this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is announcing the shared content in the File Explorer homepage. So so basically, now in the File Explorer homepage in the shared section, File Explorer will provide quick access to files that have been shared with you. If you're signed into Windows with a Microsoft account, you'll be able to view files that have been shared with your account, such as emails, team chats, and more. And if you're a commercial user who has an intra ID account, you will additionally be able to view files that have been shared with others as well. So I think this is an interesting new feature for certain people that, of course, use their work laptops most likely because the shared content will only be available between Microsoft accounts. So let's be honest, a normal user doesn't use a Microsoft account to share files, but who knows, maybe there are some people that will find this feature useful. In the Canary channel, Microsoft is also introducing the new options for the Magnifier app, which includes a new shortcut, Control Alt plus minus, to revert back to the last or most used magnification state, and also these two buttons that let you switch between those states really easily. There are also more settings changes in relation to administrator protection that are hidden in this build. And you're gonna see more info about this on x.com slash phantom of earth. He provides more information about this. But long story short, enabling developer mode no longer shows the usual confirmation dialog, but makes you go through two prompts right now. And you no longer get two consent prompts when disabling developer mode with admin protection. And of course you can see a preview of all that on his Twitter and if you wanna check it out. We also have some fixes in this build. For example, some fixes related to the taskbar and system tray. Next up, fix an issue which was causing the taskbar preview window to not display sometimes when hovering over apps in the taskbar. So right now that should be fixed. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an issue for Pine IME users. We're switching between windows like Alt plus tab may unexpectedly switch the IME from Chinese to English. Related to windowing, fix an underlying issue which could lead to unexpected app window freezes for some people when using Alt plus tab between certain types of apps. Fix an issue causing settings to crash when going to settings. Related to graphics, fix an issue causing settings to crash when going to settings, system and display and then graphics for some people. Related to remote desktop, Microsoft fix an issue causing MTSC.exe for remote desktop to fail on the previous build with Aero 0x800 8005. And they also fixed an issue which was causing remote desktop to show significant display slash rendering issues when connecting to certain other computers. And we also have two other fixes. Fix an issue which was causing an explorer.exe memory leak in the recent Canary builds leading to performance issues over time. And they also fix an issue where the shutdown slash R slash FW command wasn't working sometimes. We also have some known issues in this build, but a new known issue in this build is related to Hyper-V. Microsoft is investigating reports that Hyper-V and other features which rely on Hyper-V, such as the Windows subsystem for Linux, don't work properly after the last flight. So basically, this is the Canary build for today. If you want to check out more info, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or x.com slash phantomover for more information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.